So originally, Ali hit me up about restoring this. Um, so I came down and met him. I, I had uh, hit up Seamus to come down with me and, and be part of the project. Um, and so me and Ali were both really stoked about doing this, you know. Um, Ali was such a, an amazing human and a good friend. And so I know he would be stoked. I know he is stoked right now that we're doing this. And it's why we even took it on. We're moving on the racetrack. The scene, I, I'd say we're about like 80% done and it's, we're just getting into those uh, final days where we just gotta power through. Uh, yeah, and then aside from it being a neck breaker, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> As I look up at it, I think about how much more needs to be done and how sore my neck is going to be when we're all finished. that it's a restoration and I'm trying to bring back a painting that was painted in 1973 and trying to be true to the original with the colors we mix and and just our line quality I think that's been the most the thing that I've probably overstressed on faded so we were able to actually draw off of that but the ceiling was really patchy you know a lot of it needed just a fresh coat of paint for a base um, yeah so it was virtually just a blank canvas when we got to it which was the biggest challenge like having to line up the projection and you know it makes me wonder how Frank and Mitchell actually did it back then you know The best part about it too is like hearing all the people that have grown up with this mural, you know, seen it throughout the years. Hey, uh, my name's Anthony, I'm from Sacramento. Um, I remember this place when it was Tower Records and uh, I'm really happy to see that they restored it. I didn't think they were because at one point it was really dilapidated and everything was peeling off of it and I'm happy to see that they were able to save it. Uh, you know, there was uh, records stacked to the ceilings in here. So that's kind of what I remember of it. It's, 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 it's part of my history anyway, and I've grown up here in Sacramento. So yeah, I'm happy to see it was saved. I remember seeing this mural when I was younger, and it was in a various states of deterioration then, and, and always wondering about the history of it. And then now, you know, 20 plus years later, I'm helping to restore it and it's just it's just odd but but it, it's extremely enjoyable uh, one gentleman came by and he earlier today actually uh, he said that he lived behind this building like maybe 40 years ago and has seen it you know he's been in Sacramento all his life but he's seen it kind of go from like sparkly brand new to just completely faded out and now this you know it's really exciting to hear all these stories and you know different connections um, especially because you know for one it's like a huge landmark not only in Sacramento but just yeah I don't know I feel like all over California almost so that's been the most daunting thing is really trying to make sure that we are true and respect the original art that was here and do our best to bring it back to life as close as we can to the original.